Scratch, wag one. Bless up, bless up all of my viewers, all of my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So as you can see earlier, we're gonna get into it. Vibes Cartel share footage during doctor's visit. Also, we see Africans start to react to Buju Bantan controversial statement about Afrobeats. Plus, we see Leng finally address Vibes Cartel doing his concert in December. We're gonna get into that. Stay tuned. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we're bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we're mad. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, yes. So, Vibes Cartel right here showing his fans that. His main priority is his health and family. We see Vibes Cartel share a small clip right here. Getting some checkup, you know, at the doctor's office. Yes, people with the caption saying, Family and fitness. Member, God and time. do Oh. Yeah, man. So, Vibes Cartel string up and, you know, yesterday me see him post a picture and a lot of people are saying that his health already improving based on how he look now comparing to when him just came out of prison yes people so you know we see a lot of reaction right here we see people are post god and time you know people saying get in there bro fam as i can see an next comment number one priority by the highest authority yes people so you know right here we see vibes cartel share with him fans because him know say them concern every post vibes cartel make somebody tell him say forget him health you know check and take it serious people just uh, advise him all the way so a lot of people are sharing various views about Bujubantan recent statement on Afrobeats music saying that it is every, including Africans right here. What y'all think? Exactly what's going on on the ground in Africa. He says African music today is all about, in his words, fuckery. And I agree with him. When he says it's all about fuckery, he means that African music now is all about childishness. It's all about romance and everything. But Africa is still going through a lot of oppression from the West. Africa is still dominated. And Buju Banton goes on to point out that the greatest musicians to ever come out of the African continent are Lucky Dube, Fela Kuti, and Zalif Keta, and others like Yusundu and Baba Mao. Because these musicians were speaking to the issues of Africanness. They were real Pan-Africanists. They spoke about the oppression that the people of Africa were facing. For example, Lucky Dube was singing about apartheid. He cried and sang and wailed and mourned about the end of apartheid in South Africa. Fela Kuti was also another musician who was known by Nigerians to be very much against the government. And he dissed the politicians at any chance he got. He sang so many songs about the bad governance in Nigeria and how Nigerians were being marginalized by their own people in Nigeria. Salif Keta also sang about the military rule in Mali, how he was displeased about the kind of leadership that Mali had at the time. Buju Banton is speaking to this today, saying all these artists in Africa, they're only singing about fun. They're only singing about me and my baby girl on Friday night, but they're not talking or speaking to the issues that are affecting the people of Africa, despite them having a platform and they're reaching millions of people worldwide, but they're not using this opportunity. And Buju Banton finishes by saying, you will be popular, you will, you will make all the money, but once you are done, once you are no longer as big as you are, what will people remember you for? All these big artists, all the the videos of the day, all the diamond platinums of the day, all the burner boys of the day, when you are done and gone, what will people remember you for? So people, right about now, we're gonna get into this article. Right here, we see it out as Vibes Cartel about 
to do his show later this year he announced it will be in december but some people are wondering if it will affect sting yes people so in the previous video i discussed this so we say sting promoter Leng said the show won't be faced by Vibes Cartel's announcement of his upcoming Freedom concert to be held in December. So Leng himself breaks silence right here, his exact words saying, I believe Vibes Cartel deserves everything out of music. I don't have a problem with him keeping his show, but as a businessman, I believe everyone should have their space. For instance, Reggae Sumpfest is in summer and nothing of the same nature don't keep in Sumpfest week. That is going to throw off Sumpfest. So when it comes to December, everybody knows say Sting Time, the promoter told the Jamaica Star. He continues saying, Cartel can keep him show tomorrow or any day until the new year and people are going to come out every single day because Vibes Cartel is dancehall but sometimes i feel like a hard ball is being thrown at us not directly but subliminally because from stage show call and cartel call you know say sting name ago call leng added he said that if vibes cartel show is held right now he would be support as a patron cartel could have keep his show in december you know but the bigger picture is it just depends on when if him keep it in like the first week of december then that's fair enough because it will give a lot of people some time to build up back then pack it and recover so the spacing is important but farmer sting boss leng father isaiah said that while vibes cartel deserve this moment to shine his decision on a date for his show and if he performs at Sting will prove if he has Sting interest at heart. His exact words also right here saying, he has been away for so long, make him come get him glory, but don't come pan my path way in December. Him should choose December because when him do that now, it's like him a look war. The history where me and Cartel have a me do the greatest things upon this earth yeah for him such as signing his first contract he said that he wished for vibes cartel to take things slow and make wise decisions as he readjusts to society his exact words right here saying in the same article not even your enemy you want in a prison so me glad say him come out but him just have to know say out a road kinda different from 14 years ago and him have to just humble and learn the place because right now him brain a move fast so give himself little time and then really start make decisions yes people so what y'all think about Leng putting this out ahead of Vibe Scottel first official concert we have a discussion about it this morning so now on a year what Leng said about it you know in regards to vibes cartel doing his show make me know so we're gonna get into this article right here as paula llewellyn yet to make a public statement about cartel's release yes people since of lately we don't hear paula llewellyn near mention a lot in the media but we see this pop up since she was one of the major person in the case right here yes people following the release of Vibes Cartel, Sean Campbell and Andre St. John, former Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, Paula Llewellyn is yet to make a public statement about the Court of Appeal ruling. Llewellyn served as DPP from 2008 to 2024, overseeing several major cases throughout her career. Without a doubt, one of the most high-profile cases overseen by the former DPP is that of dancehall artist Vibes Cartel. Yes, people, so right here following the overturn of Cartel's conviction by the Privy Council in March, Llewellyn expressed that her office would be seeking a retrial in 
The Jamaican Court of Appeal, the former DPP, described it as an obligation. Her exact words stated, I believe we would be obliged to given the strength of the case for the prosecution that was put up and given the authority and the case law. Yes, people, so right here we see, you know, one of Vibes Cartel supporter put this out stating, Prosecutor Paula Llewellyn is somewhere a hide now because Vibes Cartel is finally free from prison, which is good. She try all this time to bring down Vibes Cartel career. Now the man win his case. She's supposed to feel shame and embarrassed. Make it be the last time we see of her. Yes, people, so... You know, after the Jamaican Court of Appeal ordered that Vibes Cartel and his co-accused be freed, no official statement has been released by Llewellyn. The former DPP's silence was highlighted on Sunday by popular Vibes Cartel fan page Shamar Makinan. Yes, people, so right here, I know a lot of comments, you know, sharing the same sentiment regarding vibes cartel fans but the main thing you know vibes cartel just happy him getting freedom and he's now out so just for saying that vibes cartel are god we see a woman of god actually addressing this lady right here you know some people really out here basically uh, idolize certain things not only artists but certain things out there people need to stop idolize but right here this lady i get address for saying that vibes cartel a god god that you are you are true and living Blessed god greetings everyone minister god lies here because so the world has said oh look when you can look sick you may look sick but whenever my I god hear somebody with the name of god somebody trying to be little god somebody trying to compare to god to a man somebody trying to mislead the people by now, everyone must know that Minister God Life is the overseer for all children that exist, whether great or small. And I will not sit back and watch any man mislead the people. Now, this sister here, I hear she come out talking about Vibes Cartel is not this for dancehall and that for dancehall. And Vibes Cartel is God and Vibes Cartel is this and God tell is that. Now, sister, the word of God say, anything that you love more than me, God, that is your God. Sister, you can worship an object if you wish. But don't come out and tell the people that a man that is created by God is God. Don't come and mislead the people. Keep that to yourself, sister. Now, I have had an encounter with the same gentleman. And the Lord showed me that he would come out. But then I remember the word of God. Of Elizabeth and Zacharias. You see, because John the Baptist was about to be born, and John the Baptist is a great man that will come and do the work of God. What the Lord did was dumb Zacharias the father until the child was born. Something must not be spoken until it is fulfilled. Now the Lord brought him to me and showed me that he would come out. But I keep a still tongue. Because something must be kept private until it manifests. Now I have a few words of encouragement to this gentleman, Vibes Carter. My brother, I believe that the Lord has given you a second chance. And that second chance is not for you to come and run around with the same crowd. Now I don't know you in person, but I can tell you this and I know this for sure. That you have had not just dreams and vision, but encounters where you are coming from. You have had encounters there. And there are things that you spoke to God about. You need to fulfill them. You need to keep the promises. Because I know that my God will not just bring you to me like that. There must be some kind of contact that you had with the Lord. Why he brought you to me. My brother, do what is needed to be done. I don't have much to say to you. Because you're a very smart man and you're very wise. The fact that you come out and bring in the name of the Lord. My brother, don't just bring the name of the Lord. Don't just do as the hypocrites and the naysayers do. But bring the word and do the works also. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Padadan.
Everything went bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything went mad. Subscribe now. You hear that?